Hi, y'all. It's AGP here, and we're back with another informational video. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look, obviously it's 2020, and you guys saw the video I put up about it being all these delayed big games that are being delayed. Mm, redundant and unnecessary. Until the next fiscal year, which I'm going to just tell you again is from March 31st of whatever year that is to April 1st of the next year. In this case, March 31st, 2020 to April 1st, 2021. Now, this one's just about Ubisoft. Y'all read the title. Um, it's because they're talking about how they already have five AAA games, right? Five that are supposed to be going to be on the next systems or supported by the next systems. Supported isn't very specific. Um, you would think that, I mean, because if the PS5 is backwards compatible and the Xbox Series X is backwards compatible, I mean, it's still supported. But I'm pretty sure they mean that they're going to have the releases. Well, this is what they are going to have. They're going to have a copy of those games on both the PS4 and the PS5 and the Xbox Series X and the Xbox One, which is nice. That's always the question. We're always trying to figure out what games are going to drop with the systems and what games are just going to get, you know, exclusively when those systems come out or are we going to get two versions of it i say this because uh ubisoft is playing with our emotions dog yeah it's like that it's one of those moments i know sad ain't it basically you feel me we already know about three of the games because they're talking about five triple a games we already know about three of the games all of which were delayed like i said in the delayed video which is gods and monsters rainbow six quarantine and Watch Dogs 3 Legion, which is wild because that's the one out of those three that I actually play against, but I forgot for a sec. Anyways, um, point is, we know those three are going to already be supported because those are coming out at the end of the year. Usually whatever games are going to come out at the end of the year, right before or right when a console drops, you're going to get two versions. So we know we're going to get a PS4 and Xbox One version as well as an Xbox Series X and a PS5 version of those three games. So that's nice. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because there are two more games that are coming out, two more AAA games that are coming out with titles that we, we already know that are big. One of them is obvious, that is Assassin's Creed. So really, this five AAA games thing was kind of, a, they're, just, they're just playing with us. We already know Assassin's Creed is coming out at the end of the year. They said that last year, or the year before. We know it's supposed to be Vikings era. It will still be nice when we actually get videos and or pictures. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. It'll be nice when we actually get, you know, some gameplay and actually get more of a feel or a look of what it, it looks like. If you go on Google, I feel like it's a lot of fan art i haven't actually looked it might not even be that much of that i feel like i looked once and there wasn't actually that much but hopefully that'll be great we already know that one's gonna be fun i'm excited for that i'm sure y'all are too the last one was the one where i'm like why are y'all playing with us like this because y'all know ubisoft has a couple of games a couple of franchises that they that they often would make games for um and obviously you know they had some new ones that came out, Division, Division 2, and Ghost Recon, and a lot of people didn't like Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I don't play either one of them, so I don't have much of a, uh, a much of a say, um, but I wasn't that interested in them in the first place. But then, of course, it's always the question of, are we getting Splinter Cell, or are we getting another Far Cry, and that's those are, those are some of the biggest, and Far Cry, Rainbow Six... Which, you know, we already know Rainbow Six and Assassin's Creed are coming out. But Assassin's Creed and Splinter Cell are probably... Oh, and Watch Dogs now. Are probably their biggest titles, usually. So, it's always like, we already know what kind of game we're going to get with Ubisoft. Although, Gods and Monsters is them starting another franchise. But, all that is a little bit of a tangent. The point is, it's not going to be Splinter Cell. Yeah, we're tight. Uh, if y'all know uh, Jason Schreer, I've brought him up in my videos, but people in the gaming world know him for sure. Kotaku and Jason Schreer is their like reporter slash writer. You know, he does all the, the, the a lot of the info stuff for them, and he is almost never wrong. He wasn't wrong about um, Ghost of Tsushima. He wasn't wrong about uh, Last of Us Part Two, and those are the two that that recently I, I was to, you know I'm sure he's had other speculations that I haven't necessarily read, although I follow him on Twitter. But, you know, I follow a lot of people on Twitter, so, and I don't check it as much as I probably should. 
That's neither here nor there. The point is, you know, we're not getting a Splinter Cell. He said it was going to be Assassin's Creed and Far Cry, which, again, gave us one question mark. We already knew Assassin's Creed was it, so that wasn't new. Um, and it doesn't change the fact that I'm excited for these, but I don't play Far Cry, and I've been waiting, like the rest of y'all, since 2013 to now for another Splinter Cell. They even put the man in the rainbow, what was it? No, they put him in Ghost Recon. Um, and I'm just like, why would you do that? Like, they put Sam Fisher and Ghost Recon and just like a teaser. Um, you know, it's like, it's like in, um, NBA Live where they put Stretch Monroe in there. If y'all don't know the Street Volume series, you will, especially if you watch this channel. Because when the PS5 comes out and they say it's completely backwards compatible, that means it'll be playing all the way up to the PlayStation 1 games. Yeah, I'm gonna play them on this channel. It has to happen. So you will see what those are But we've always people from that era Those were the best games. I still feel like they were street volume NFL street Def Jam fight for New York SSX tricky Those are those those were the games that just were so over the top, but so fun FIFA Street like uh, And they really tease us with that So I don't know if they're actually gonna I would hope that in this next gen Especially since it's fully backwards compatible That we get a lot of those games back I'll take remastered versions of all of them I don't care I'll pay for each one of them Don't care They were all that good But anyways Point is We're not getting a Splinter So I was gonna make a video actually And I guess I might as well put it in this But apparently there was somebody in a position uh, I don't know if it's a creative director's position who came back to, to Ubisoft. And so we know they're working on it. Like, they've been talking about how they've been working on it, actually. Like, they have gave us little tidbits, but, like, all in all, it was basically nothing. Um, but they're just like, we have people working on that. And it's just like, what does that even mean? Like, it's been seven to eight years. How many? Yo! The, the next one is out. I mean, I really hope that it's literally the best one they've made all time because they made us wait so long. Like, why are you making us wait so long? But, I'm going to find out. I can't remember who um, who it was. I'm about to look at, look at it real quick. I'm going to put these on the screen too for y'all so y'all can see the articles I'm reading and you can see you know, Jason Schreier's comments about how it's 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 Far Cry and not Splinter Cell. Now, for those Far Cry fans out there, you know, congratulations. Y'all about to get a new game on the next-gen systems. I'm sure you'll love it. I'm sure it'll look great. I'm sure it'll play great. I don't I don't like first-person open-world games. I said that in my Cyberpunk video um, because I, I was like, I don't, you know. Although, I'm going to play Cyberpunk, so <clears throat> cause that looks really dope. But let me see. <clears throat> so, I was right. It was the creative director. Um, who was there when they were making the Splinter Cells earlier. Um, his name <clears throat> is Maxime Billand. So, you know, that's that's what's up. I'm excited for that. I was going to make a video about this. I mean, I still might, just because I'm really waiting for, like, the next Splinter Cell patiently. Like, And I'm sure we're going to get one, but it's just like, why are they making us wait this long for it? Like, that's crazy. But I should also, I, I, I could talk a little bit about, like, because you guys have probably heard some of these leaks, guys and ladies, you guys have probably heard about some of these leaks for the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. And um, I'm going to make a whole video about that. But I know recently uh, Sony just put out the fact that they still don't know what they're going to list the price as. Um, and a lot of people, you know, there's a lot of speculation. As far as also, we all think we're going to get a reveal really soon. It's February now. We could get a review next month, um, but you know, either way, I'm excited for it. I want to. I want to see. I. I don't care which month it is. Hopefully, if it, it's just soon, like, because once we get to March, we're already over with the first quarter. So that means like, as soon as we get into April, we're in the second quarter, and once that happens, those months go by. We're getting really close to the release dates for the new systems, which I know we're all excited for. So. That's all I'm. That's all I'm here to say today. But I'm gonna have another information video soon. I got a lot of. I got a lot of stuff written down that I'm probably gonna make videos about. I might still make a Splinter Cell one, but we'll see. But I'm, I appreciate y'all watching this. You feel me? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm gonna catch y'all next time. All right? Stay good, stay safe. My mama kid it in here, she fit the school in the gym, it's all work day. I'm strong, you got me doing the dishes. I didn't get down when the clip was to an extension. You're so bad, yeah, you're so vicious. I'm so glad that you're not his chick. She wanted a nigga, got the right one.